All right, hi everybody. Let's see how to supercharge a Python script using multiprocessing. In this example, we're going to have a script that downloads images and have it working on all the cores so it downloads faster. All right, we're going to start with this. We're going to have the imports. We're going to see them as we go along. Uh, we're going to start with the list of links of the stuff that we want to download. In this example, we're going to use on splash images. So then we're going to create a list with the index in the in the original list and the URL of the image. So why are we doing this? When we call the function in a moment of a single download to a core, that core doesn't know what index is going to download. So we need to give that index to, to the function. That's why. In a moment it's going to make a, a lot more sense, but let's keep going. So we're going to have a function here that is a single download that is going to be executed by a core. All right, so here we have uh, the function is going to ask for the URL and the, the path where we save the image. Uh, this is going to be the extension and the URL is going to be this top over here. So the second index or the first index is going to be the index of the uh, original array. There is going to be a prefix in the name and then the path is going to be that the path that we give and the this prefix. All right, so now we need to see if the file already exists. We're going to use the OS library for that, and we're going to use path exist. All right, so if the path doesn't exist, it means that we need to download the image. So we use the request library to make a request to the URL, and we make a timeout of 20. Uh, we wait too long, it's going to raise an error. We check that the request was okay, and here we retrieve the content of the image, and we use the IO bytes IO function to make sort of a file in the memory. And then we open that with the pillow uh, library to have the image in this variable. We convert that to RGB. You can make RGBA if the image is PNG or have alpha channel. And then we save that image to the path and we print the path so we know what image is being saved. Awesome, that is the function to download a single image. Now we're going to see how to populate the course with the corresponding function. So we want to run this as a script. So we're going to check the variable name if this is equal to, to main. This is when we execute from the terminal. When we execute from the terminal, we're going to execute this code right here. We're going to define the download path with the path uh, library. This is a convenient way of doing this because then we're going to make that path if we don't have it we pass exist, exist okay true so we if the folder exists we don't make it again and we it doesn't raise an error and parents true if there is like more images for example i don't know t-shirt here this is going to work also but for now we all we only need images now we define the current image prefix so every image is going to start with image and then here is going to to put the index of that image. This function right here is very important because it's going to convert this single download to a only one attribute function. What this means is the partial function returns the single download function, but with only the URL attribute. I don't know if that made sense, but now the download function only needs the URL here, a string of when, with the, the URL. So each core is going to receive this function right here. We're going to see now how to use the pool and the map function to distribute the, this load to the CPU. All right, so we define the pool variable with pool and CPU, CPU count. This is going to make a pool of CPUs of the amount of CPUs that our machine have. We can make whatever number here we, we want, but in this example, we are going to use all the cores of the machine. Then what we're going to do is this pool, we're going to use the map function. I'm going to map the download function and the list of links that we have here. As the, as the documentation says here, this uh, map function applies the function that we give to the iterable, that is the list of items in this example, and, and it collects the results in a list. 
in this example, we are not returning anything, but we are saving images to disk. Finally, what we do is do pull.close to close the, the pull of the course and release this uh, data. This is done automatically, but uh, it doesn't hurt to do it explicitly, explicitly here. All right, let's see if this works now. So we execute the script with Python and we wait. As you can see, the images were downloaded. And if we do ls and ls images, we have the image and the index of that image. So hope you like it. Subscribe. I see you in the next one. Goodbye.